Let's talk about eager acquisition. What is eager acquisition all about? The idea is to acquire resources in advance. This is a completely different idea than lazy acquisition. Here, you want to acquire the resource as early as possible to ensure that you have it. When a client is accessing a method, this method already has loaded the resource long ago. So when you look at step one, the resource is acquired by the component as soon as the component is constructed. If it's a static component, for example a singleton, the resource is acquired as soon as the application starts up. The client can use this resource now and loading the resource will not take very long because it's already there and we can be sure that the resource is available for us. But the problem is that the resource is not available for someone else. Let's talk about the properties. The context is we are using resources in an application. The problem is now how can we avoid waiting for acquisition of these resources during runtime? The forces are very often we need some special resources, for example, memory, files, network, the webcam, the microphone, resources which are exclusively reserved. And this exclusiveness must not be a problem. So one thing for eager acquisition is that only one can acquire it over the whole lifetime. If others also need this resource, then eager acquisition may be not the best pattern. Another thing which is important for eager acquisition is that these resources are always needed in the application, not just at a specific point in time, because when you don't need it anymore, you could release it. Here, the resource is always needed. What is the solution? We acquire the resources at startup of the application and store them in some cache or vault. This can be, for example, a singleton. We give the objects access to these already loaded resources and therefore they don't have to load it anymore. What are the consequences? Of course, resources must not be loaded later on. They are already acquired. We have no delay on using the resources, for example in embedded devices or when you have real-time constraints, you are demanding that loading the resources always takes the same amount of time. Therefore, you require deterministic behavior and with eager acquisition you can guarantee this. A problem here is that resources of course take up memory space. They have to be loaded and stored somewhere. So we are trading timing behavior by more memory demands. Another drawback is that the startup of the application may be slowed down because the application has to wait for exclusive access to these resources. We could do this asynchronously, so the application can start up and the user can begin to work with the application, but somewhere in time this process has to stop, so this loading has to finish before we actually use the resources. Okay, so when you think of eager acquisition, think of these television cooks who always say this famous quote, I've already prepared something. Or in German, ich habe da schon mal was vorbereitet. <laughs>